Hiya, Phil the Romantic Craft here and in this video I'll show you how I've made this very simple romantic copper wire figure. Easy to make and you'd be amazed where you can find the copper wire. Let's get on with it. So I've just done some decorating and had to pull a lot of wire down. This is TV wire and running down the middle of it is a copper wire. I think I can make something with that. So let's have about a foot of it. And strip it and see what we can get. So we'll strip the plastic off and free the wire. Plastic, we don't need that. Ooh. Very fancy copper sleeve. I don't know what we can make with that, but I'm sure we can do something. That is nice. Definitely going to make something with that at some point. Let's just. Paper, I don't think that's metal. Right, now the hard bit. Okay. Shear it off this way. Like filleting a fish. Yay, there we go. So here we go, pristine piece of copper wire, nice and shiny. So I think I'll do a little stick, man. So first off, we'll make the head. A simple loop bent around my finger. Twist. Keep on twisting. I'll make a simple body just by twisting the wire around itself. One more. That's the body. That looks better. Here I'm using household pliers. But I realised I was scratching the copper wire. Luckily, I've got some smooth pliers, so I'll use those instead. Smoother pliers, these won't mark the copper as much as the big household pliers. Now I'm estimating the leg size, roughly the same size as the body and the head together. So that's the knee. That's the leg, and I want a foot as well. Got the same size. Got to make the legs equal, otherwise it'll look odd. those pliers. I'll have a curly foot. Curly end to a foot. Oh, still got some plastic on. Looking good already. Here's the arms. I'm now threading the arm wire through the top twist. It should still look like there's a bit of a neck. Let's 
so it will stay in place. To make it stay in place I simply twist the arm wire around the body wire, just once. I think I might even put another, another twist on it. Another twist of the arms was a mistake. I should have just simply tightened up the body twists and that would have clamped the arms in tightly. I did that later. Mm, not too happy about that. I want the arms to come off at the same height. Just as with the feet, I'm making a simple loop to make a hand. I've got one shorter than the other. That's a bit unfortunate. level now. Right. And now to make some shoulders. It'll make it look a little more humanoid instead of bending the arms straight from the neck. Oh the arms have gone short now. Along with the shoulders, we need some hips. I planned to put the figurine on a table and then I thought it'd look even better if it was sat down over the edge. So let's bend it into a sitting shape. twisted round. Well, I if we can imagine it, I'm sitting on something now. A bit of movement in the arms. Shape. Oh, I'll fall over. Bad posture, you know. There we go. Head back. Not bad. I want to make a little romantic heart that he's holding with my message of love on it. Draw the outline of a heart. Cut it out.
paint it red. And then write my message on it. And now to slide it into the loop of one of the hands. Simply open up the hand a bit, slide the heart in, and then crimp it tight. Just as if it's holding it like a box of chocolates. And there we go, a simple I love you message. I do hope I've inspired you to have a go at making your own copper wire figure. It is easy to do, and you find the copper wire in the strangest of places. If you've liked this video and want to see more romantic crafting videos, please subscribe. This is Phil the Romantic Crafter saying, Tara for now.